a man awakens in a dim lift, not having the memorable option what his identity is or where he came from. He attempts to get out as the lift surges towards the surface, however, unexpectedly, everything stops, and the seals above him open, uncovering a splendid light, various men start to encompass him, furthermore, they toss him onto the ground, while chuckling at the man's disarray, the new person surges out and attempts to move away, yet, he tumbles down because of his dizziness, at the point when the man recover, he understands in shock that he's caught inside the area, where enormous walls are encompassing him from all sides, individuals put the man into a cell for taking off, and he meets the head of this place called Albi, who guarantees the new person that having amnesia at first, the leader chooses to show the man every one of the facilities that they set up, what's more, makes sense of for him that consistently, the lift would raise supplies, including a renewed individual, Albi additionally acquaints him with Newt, the second in command, prior to taking the man up a vantage degree, where an unmistakable perspective on the exit should be visible. He thinks about what's past these baffling walls, in any case, the leader advises him to never leave this region regardless of the situation. Notwithstanding everything Albi has said to him, the man chooses to assess the exit without anyone else, as a little fellow named Chuck attempts to keep him from defying the guideline, nonetheless, he sees two or three individuals running back from an external perspective, and Chuck makes sense of that main the sprinters are permitted to leave, because of their broad experience past the walls, he disregards the boy and keeps on meandering outside, yet is moved over by a tall man called Galley, who disgraces the new person for attempting to disrupt the guidelines, every one individuals accumulate around the disturbance, as Albi attempts to quiet the man down from doing anything rash, yet their contentions are come by a boisterous clamor from an external perspective, it just so happens, the leave entryways, and the monstrous designs start shutting together, keeping anybody from leaving as the dusks, the man understands the risk of this spot, as he might have been effectively stuck outside, around evening time, individuals start to celebrate for enduring another month, as they light up the bonfire and assemble around for a party, yet the new person is would rather do anything other than to partake in the good times, he needs to have a deep understanding of reality, and Newt lets him know that a huge, a moving labyrinth lies outside these walls, and runners must guide out the whole geology, other than attempting to find the exit, they should likewise dodge the giant monsters inside the construction known grievers, who are fit for transforming people into zombie by contamination, the foes generally just emerge around evening time, furthermore, whoever is caught outside after dusk would be killed, once more Newt attempts to get the new person to join the party, yet finds Galley, as the man attempts to hint him into a competing, constrained by the friend strain from every one individuals, the man must choose the option to stroll into the focal point of the group, as he sets himself up to battle, in any case, he is overwhelmed by the rival as Galley tosses the man onto the ground, the new person attempts to battle once more, yet is obviously no counterpart for him, as he gets thrown around and tossed into the sands, shockingly, the man can recall his name as Thomas after getting hit on the head, making everybody celebrate close by him for at last recuperating his identity, their cheering is intruded on by a fearsome thunder from past the wall, also, taking individuals back to the risks, the following day, while assisting individuals to do a few tasks, Thomas meanders into the woods where he tracks down a huge grave that is encircled by human bones, unexpectedly, he sees somebody behind him who ends up being Ben, and the man assaults him while persistently faulting Thomas for all that has occurred, he figures out how to hit Ben on the head, what's more, takes the risk to run back towards individuals as Ben pursues him, the young men notice the disturbance and surges in to stop the battle, as they take out Ben and save Thomas' life, at the point when individuals lift up the man's shirt, they understand that he's been tainted by the monsters, giving them no other decision except for to secure their companion, as Ben beseeches them to save his life, before sundown, individuals bring the tainted man towards the exit of the wall, also, as they moving him out by utilizing the wooden posts, the man battles to remain inside, in any case, is constrained out from the region, as the monstrous entryways close directly before them, individuals are obviously extremely unglued about what they needed to do, yet, it was the main decision that they had passed on to save every other person, sometime thereafter, Thomas starts having dreams while dreaming, as he sees a research facility where the essence of a lady proceeds to show up, and he continues to hear the expression that underhanded is great, the man awakens in shock from the distinctive dreams, what's more, sees that Albi has by and by gone external the walls before dawn, Thomas questions Newt about why the pioneer himself would leave the safe houses, and the man consoles Thomas that Albi understands what he's doing, as he's the most seasoned survivor here, be that as it may, the night draws near the sprinters actually haven't returned, making everybody stress as they monitor over the exit towards the maze, the noisy clamor happens indeed, making the giant entryway close before the gathering, and they understand that their chief might be lost for eternity, shockingly, Thomas sees their companions inside the maze, and takes note that something is off base, as the sprinter minnow is conveying their chief who seems, by all accounts, to be harmed, 
the gathering yell for them to pick up the pace, yet Thomas understands that they won't make it, what's more, chooses to go inside the maze contrary to rules, and figuring out how to show up outside, after the entirety of his endeavors. The man's fortitude was not compensated by the runners, as Minnow compliments Thomas for basically committing suicide, it's uncovered that Albie was stung by a griever, furthermore, Minnow had no real option except to take the man out, with no different choices, they choose to raise their oblivious companion onto the wall, so he wouldn't be killed by the monsters, their arrangement is interfered with while Minnow hearing the clamors from the animals, making him take off, and leaving Thomas close by the hanging body, the man must choose the option to take cover behind the plants while clutching Albie, as he watches the griever slither gradually past their area, feeling that the foe is gone, the man takes the risk and surges out from stowing away so that, he can tie his companion onto the wall, yet understands that something is off base, a shadowy figure slithers behind Thomas and he feels a dreadful fluid drop onto his shoulder, as a giant monster lands directly before him and shouts irately at his face. Thomas runs while the griever pursues him. What's more, Thomas can avoid the foe as he involves the giant walls for cover, notwithstanding, he runs into an impasse, and sees the monster drawing nearer towards him, constraining the man to move onto the walls by utilizing the plants, he figures out how to make it onto the construction and attempts to get away from the adversary by hopping across the walls, yet winds up on a precipice, where there's no place to run, subsequent to seeing that the monster is drawing closer, Thomas is compelled to hop towards the contiguous wall, as the animal jumps towards him also the griever attempts to sting the man, making all that tumble down, as the plants catch the monster animal, permitting Thomas to get away, shockingly, he runs into Minnow, who chose to return and help his companion, what's more, they make it towards a moving wall, wanting to lose the foe by utilizing the maze, Thomas sees this and concocts an arrangement, as he draws the animal towards him while rushing to his companion, the walls start to shut in as the griever pursues Thomas, while the man runs towards his companion energetically, the following day, while individuals trust that their companions will return, it's uncovered that Thomas had the option to get by, and furthermore bring back their leader, Minnow lets everybody know that Thomas figured out how to kill the griever, which is the justification for why they are as yet alive, in any case, not every person concurs with the man's activity, particularly Galley who calls attention to that Thomas defied the guidelines that were set up by the gathering, additionally, there might be ramifications for killing the griever, as the beasts might look for retaliation, their contentions are interfered with when they hear the lift moving towards the surface, which is very early, and they rush towards the field, to their shock, a young lady is purchased towards the surface not at all like the wide range of various times, furthermore, they find a significant piece that says that she will be the final remaining one, Thomas perceives the more abnormal face as she was the individual who generally showed up in his fantasies, abruptly, the lady awakens and shouts out Thomas' name, previously dropping, before long, making all the others question what her relationship is with the man, the gathering consider about what they ought to do, as they won't keep going long without unexpected supplies from the lift, however Thomas believes that the genuine response exists in the maze, he figures out how to persuade Minnow to assemble help, so they can return to look at the beast that they killed, and the gathering ran towards the exit before the night came, the group goes through the maze, and showing up to the griever's body, also, they start to pull at the monster altogether, figuring out how to eliminate one of its legs, Minnow sees a blaring commotion inside the tissue, furthermore, uncovers what gives off an impression of being a GPS beacon that has the number 7 on its screen, they choose to leave the spot before some other animals return, and Minnow chooses to show Thomas their mysterious sanctuary which just the leaders know about, it just so happens, they have wrapped up planning the whole maze quite a while in the past, yet Albi chose to not let individuals know that there weren't any ways out, so they will not lose any expectation, notwithstanding, since they have found this new gadget, they might have the option to get away, Minnow makes sense of that there are walls on the external edges which have numbers on them, what's more, consistently move in similar arrangement, opening up new segments, he feels that they ought to make a beeline for the area of number 7, as he trusts that there might be a spot that the grievers go to which isn't opened up to the people, before their preservation can wrap up, they are advised by their companions that the young lady is conscious, they run outside, just to see that the young lady is tossing everything at the young men, attempting to keep them from drawing nearer, Thomas attempts to stop the lady by uncovering his name, halting this tumult as she needs to address him, the man moves toward the young lady while attempting quiet her down, and is shocked to hear that she recalls her own name which ends up being Teresa, she lets Thomas know that she remembers nothing else except for his name, what's more, uncovers that she has two needles inside her pocket, the man perceives the image on the compartment that says devilish, and recollects the voice in his dreams which generally lets him know that mischievous is great, making him feel that these might be antitoxins, they go towards Albie and chooses to give him a portion, as the man will pass on in any case if nothing else is finished, individuals hold their leader set up and stings the man utilizing the needle, which removes the side effects, 
As Albi gradually becomes oblivious, the following day, Thomas goes with Minnow as they intend to figure out reality with regards to Segment 7, furthermore, they head into the maze while stumbling into the huge walls, the two make it towards the area, and show up into a spot that has various edges in the field, and Thomas sees that the signaling from the machine is becoming louder, the man heading towards the path which makes the commotions increment, as they show up before a huge entry that was never there, they head cautiously inside while analyzing the spot, furthermore, strolls through a huge extension that finishes them towards a wall that appears to be not exactly right, abruptly, their machine quits signaling and becomes green, which opens up the walls before them, they stroll inside the entry and shows up towards a little passage, however understands that something is off base while the two are checked by lasers, making a noisy clamor happen, the two taking off from the spot as the entryways close right behind them, they make it beyond the entry and sees that the giant cutting edges are starting to turn, constraining them to rush towards the exit before they are caught inside, the two can escape from the cutting edges, yet the whole floor to open up, constraining them to frantically make tracks, as various walls drop down right behind them, they are capable find a little entry where they bounce inside, what's more, slithers through the end walls, the young men head back towards the base and tells individuals all that they found, yet, discovers that Alby has at long last recovered awareness, they go to his room and are stunned to see that the man is in tears, clearly, Alby has recovered his recollections, uncovering that there are people watching them from an external perspective, and that there is no chance to get out from the maze, they are interfered with by the disturbances outside, making individuals rush towards the field, and everybody is stunned to see that the doors have not shut even after nightfall, their most dreaded fear turns out to be valid when various grievers approach towards the settlement, compelling everybody to get as far away as possible, they make it towards the cornfields and attempt to conceal under the plants, however, the monsters can track down them, as individuals are killed individually, the group escapes towards the houses, however the structures are no counterpart for the monsters, as they annihilate all that is in their manner, Teresa takes hold of a consuming compartment and tosses it at the foe, making fire inundate the animal and allowing them an opportunity to run, notwithstanding, the monster recuperates and starts killing them, while Thomas attempts to safeguard his companions by taking on the animal, fortunately, the man is saved by his confidants who tosses various lances at the griever, permitting them to escape into the principal working while the animal is shocked, individuals attempt to conceal inside the sanctuary, however the monster finds them, furthermore, figures out how to take hold of Albi, hauling the man out directly before everybody, Thomas charges outside to save his companion, just to understand that the animals have chosen to withdraw, and are no place in sight, Galley surges towards Thomas out of frustration and punches him towards floor, putting everything on Thomas, as he believes that the animals were hanging around for vengeance, the man to feel remorseful for allowing his companions dying, as he takes a stinger from the grievers and cuts himself on the leg, making him faint towards the ground, Thomas recollecting his previous recollections and understands that he was essential for a group that was probing individuals here, and Teresa was one of his associates, the man recaptures cognizance and his companions let him know that Galley has assumed control over the spot, figuring out how to persuade individuals to expel Thomas close by the young lady, Thomas apologizes to his friends as he comes clean with them, about how they are all essential for an investigation, and this situation was a test, individuals are stunned to hear this disclosure, yet Newt guarantees Thomas that this doesn't change anything, as their goal is as yet unchanged, which is to recover their opportunity, Galley's men brings the two towards the enormous entryways, and to everybody's shock, rather than simply banishing them, he needs to forfeit their lives as an olive branch for the monsters, fortunately, Thomas can break free in the latest possible second and recaptures the benefit close by his companions, while attempting to persuade everybody that their main choice is to escape, he educates individuals regarding his recollections, and that this was rarely their home, causing a significant number of the adherents to switch sides, while Galley advises Thomas that he's driving his companions to bite the dust, they must choose the option to abandon the excess individuals as they head out towards the maze, showing up at segment 7, while they approach the entry of the griever's home, they see a solitary monster watching the entry and charging towards the foe altogether, as the monster thunders angrily at them they conflict towards one another and the young men can drive the animal away, driving the monster once again as they knock it off the bridge and killing it, in any case, different grievers start to move out from the beginning, individuals to withdraw, as they attempt to open the doors while keeping the monsters down, Chuck runs inside the passage close by Teresa, however they can't open the last entryway, while the young men are being killed by the monsters individually, Teresa figures out that the entry require an 8-digit secret key, and that's what Thomas understands, it should be the succession of the external shells, while advising Minnow to discuss the request, the man letting them know the code, as the monsters drives them in reverse with nowhere to run, yet they can open the entryways without a second to spare, this makes all the entryways slam down onto the animals, and killing them all, while the gathering go into the secretive corridor that starts to illuminate altogether, 
they follow the lights and show up at the crisis exit, also, Thomas chooses to open the entryway, just to find that every one individuals inside have died, the group goes towards the focal point of the room, and understands that Thomas recollections were valid all things considered, and they were just guinea pigs, unexpectedly, a screen illuminates before them, furthermore, a lady known as Dr. Page praises individuals for breezing through their last assessment, it just so happens, mankind was almost obliterated by solar-oriented flares previously, which killed billions of individuals, what's far more terrible, as obscure infection that our flare arisen into the populace, which goes after individuals' cerebrums and transforms them into risky animals. A few people became insusceptible towards the infection, which incorporates everybody inside the maze, they are intentionally placed into unforgiving conditions, so that their minds can be considered to figure out what's different about them. Trusting that it would prompt a fix, these trials are emphatically gone against by a lot of people, as individuals see various armies hurrying into the office and killing every one of the researchers, making sense of why everybody here is dead, before individuals can settle on what to do straight away, they are come by a voice from behind who ends up being Galley, and obviously he has been infected, the man keeps on blame Thomas for all that occurred, prior to firing his firearm at the Thomas, yet Minnow can toss a lance at the foe, making him tumble down. Nonetheless, they figure out that Chuck has taken a projectile for Thomas, causing him to die, as Thomas grieves for the kids passing close by his companions, unexpectedly, various armies rush inside the structure while removing every one individuals, what's more, they take hold of Thomas who's plainly wrecked by his companions demise, they make it outside the structures and ready to see the remaining parts of human developments, while being constrained onto military helicopters, the choppers take off up high as individuals witness the total of the maze, while an outsider guarantees them that all will be okay from here onward, what they don't comprehend is that the entire situation was arranged, and Doctor's Page was never killed by the assault, which ends up being a piece of the examination that she planned. The lady lets every one of her partners know that everything was a triumph, as every one of the survivors fly towards the following period of their analysis. The end, if you like this story, please subscribe to the channel and like it to motivate me to bring you more stories like this.